Okay, so we learned how to add and subtract polynomials. Now we're going to learn how to multiply uh, binomials together, specifically just binomials. Um, so again, binomials means polynomials with two terms. Um, we're going to learn two different methods, and you get to choose which method you like the best. It's up to you. The first method is, is the distributive method. Um, the distributive method here, what we do is we take our first binomial and we split it up. So I'm going to split it up into the term of x and then plus 6. And I'm going to take that x and multiply it by my whole second binomial, like this. And I'm going to take the plus 6 and also multiply it by that whole second binomial, like this. And now I'm going to apply the distributive property. When I apply the distributive property, the parentheses are going to go away. So I have an x times a 4x, which is going to be a 4x squared, an x times a plus 3, which is going to be a plus 3x, and then a plus 6. Plus 6 times a 4x is a plus 24x, and then a plus 6 times a plus 3, which is a plus 18. And then we combine like terms. I'm going to have a 4x squared plus a 27x plus an 18. That's fully simplified. It's in standard form. That's how we leave it. Now, I'm going to show you the, uh, the same exact problem, but using a different method called the FOIL method. So the FOIL method, you can either write the word FOIL or remember what the word FOIL means. But... F in FOIL stands for the first terms in your two binomials. So I'm going to multiply an x times a 4x. That gets a 4x squared. O stands for the outer terms within your entire problem. So the outer two terms are x and a plus 3. An x times a plus 3 is a plus 3x. I stands for the inner two terms within your two problem. So the two terms that are in the inside are the plus 6 and the 4x. That's going to be a plus 24x. And L stands for your two last terms in your two binomials. So the last term in my first binomial is a plus 6. The last term in my second binomial is a plus 3. So a plus 6 times a plus 3 is a plus 18. And then you can combine your like terms to get the same exact answer of 4x squared plus 27x plus 18, but we just did it a little bit of a different way. Essentially, the FOIL method and the distributive method are the same. It's just a different way of looking at it. So you might want to write down what these mean. So the F means the first term, O means outer term, N means, or I means inner term, and L means the last term. Um, but you don't have to write down FOIL every time. All right, if you remember the word FOIL, then you can just do the FOILing process without having to write down the word FOIL. All right, I'm going to show you each method again. I'm going to show you the distributive property method for all the odd numbered problems and the FOIL method for all the even numbered problems. So showing you the distributive method again, what we're going to do is we're going to take the n minus 6. We're going to split it up into an n and a minus 6. I'm going to take the n and I'm going to multiply it by my entire second binomial. And I'm going to take the minus 6 and multiply it by my entire second binomial. All right, now I'm doing the distributive property. An n times a 4n is a 4n squared. An n times a minus 7 is a minus 7n. A negative 6, we got to be careful with the operation, times a 4n is a minus 24n. And a negative 6 times a negative 7 is a plus 42. Combining like terms, I wind up with 
a 4n squared minus a 31n plus a 42. All right, showing you the FOIL way for number 2. F stands for the first two terms, so a 2p squared times a 2p. That's a 4p cubed. O stands for the two outer terms. A 2p squared times a minus 5 is a minus 10p squared. I stands for the inner terms, so a plus 3 times a 2p is a plus 6p. L stands for the last terms. A 5 times, or sorry, 3 times a negative 5 is a negative 15. There actually are no like terms to combine in this polynomial, so that's your answer. All right, number three, showing you the distributive property method again. I'm going to take my c minus 10 and split it up into a c and a negative 10. I'm going to take my c and multiply it by my entire second polynomial. And I'm going to take my minus 10 and do the same thing, multiply it by the entire second polynomial. Now I'm going to apply the distributive property. A c times a c is a c squared. A c times a minus 5 is a minus 5c. Be careful of your operation. A negative 10 times a c is a minus 10c. And a negative 10 times a negative 5 is a plus 50. Combining like terms, I wind up with a c squared minus a 15c plus a 50. That's fully simplified. It's in standard form. We're going to move on to number 4 and I'm going to show you the FOIL method again. So F in FOIL stands for the first two terms in your binomials, which are an x and a 4x. An x times a 4x is a 4x squared. O in FOIL stands for the outer terms, so an x times a minus 5 is going to be a minus 5x. I stands for your inner two terms, so a positive 4 times a 4x is a plus 16x. L stands for the two last terms, so a positive 4 times a negative 5 is a negative 20. Combining like terms, I wind up with a 4x squared plus an 11x minus a 20. All right, working on number 5. I'm going to show you the distributive property one last time. So... I'm going to take the 2h minus 7, I'm going to split it up into a 2h and a minus 7. I'm going to take the 2h and multiply it by my entire second polynomial. I'm going to take the minus 7 and do the same thing, multiply it by my second binomial. A 2h times an h is a 2h squared. A 2h times a plus 9 is a plus 18h. A negative 7 times an h is a negative 7h. A negative 7 times a plus 9 is, sorry, a negative 63. Combining like terms, I wind up with a 2h squared plus an 11h minus a 63. All right, and in number six, I'm going to show you the FOIL method one last time. So F in FOIL stands for the first two terms. I have a 2x times a 3x, which is going to give me a 6x squared. O stands for outer, so a 2x times a minus 4 gives me a minus 8x. I stands for inner, so a positive 7 times a 3x is a plus 21x. And L stands for last. So a 7 times a negative 4 is a negative 28. Now I'm going to combine like terms. And I wind up with a 6x squared plus a 13x plus a 28. And that is it for multiplying. Oh, sorry, minus a 28 change that operation there. 
That's it for multiplying polynomials.